Hi everybody, welcome back to Armoury Forger. This is on my Xbox Series S. And in this video, I want to kind of give you a bit of a showcase for the Games Master Editor and show you how you can create your own little playground for armour within the Games Master Editor. And also, if you're thinking about getting Armoury Forger, especially on console, this may well blow you away. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to hit Y to restart a new session. The idea with the Games Master Editor is also, is ultimately that it enables you to create live gameplay scenarios where you and some friends or other people can spawn in to the map and the Games Master can then place down enemies or friendly units or vehicles or structures for you then to play a scenario through. If you're familiar with Armour, it's a bit like the Armour Zeus Editor, which you, would use, which you would use live. It's absolutely amazing what we can do with this. But it can also be used single player to uh, to practice um, uh, in uh, Armory Forger and also um, you know have a bit of uh, have a bit of fun as well and you know and learn the game. You can just you can just wander around the map on uh, on single player. It's very very good indeed. So as you can see, you know we can fly over the map. And what we're going to do, we're just going to head north, and we're going to find hopefully we're going to find the airfield here we go because this is a it's a nice open area the airfield isn't it so plus when i do days e videos i always do them at the airfield so we can fly <laughs> i love the fact that we can do this is amazing absolutely amazing so what we're going to first off we're just going to spawn in a player so if we hit the um uh it's the share button i think is it the share button on xbox it's the button with the two little squares next to it and this brings up the entity browser and uh, default on the default setting it just comes up with all the teams we don't want a team so if you use your d-pad to go all the way over to the right and then scroll down these are the different obviously we can have the different factions and these are the different entity types so groups of characters ca single characters vehicles systems so things like ammo boxes compositions so that's um uh, groups of tents and roadblocks and stuff and then objects which is all the all the paraphernalia that you can put down like um like tables and desks and chairs and stuff but if we just um, select character we can see these are all the single characters and the way that you can navigate between them is you can use your d-pad to move around and then you can press your right and left trigger to go between sort of the soviet uh the independent and the americans so let us put down a let's put down a sniper so i just select him with a and then we can move it down. If you look on the left-hand side, it tells you the option. So A would put him down by himself. If I press and hold A, I can place him as a player. So there he is. Now, if I now press, press the options button and the top left shoulder button at the same time, so that's the button with the three lines across and then the uh, the shoulder button, we spawn in as a player. And here we are in the map. So we could wander around the entire map and do whatever we wanted. But it's a bit lonely. The idea is this would be our little playground to play around with the different things. So let's press the pause button. Let's go back to the Games Master. Um, let's press the uh, Entity button again. Um, the three, the uh, the box with the the button with the two little boxes on. And now let us use our D-pad to go over to the right and let's put in some vehicles. Let's unselect characters. And these are all the vehicles we can put down. So what do we fancy having a go in? How about a arm armored Jeep? So we can select that and let's... Um, what should we do? Should we... Um, let's move that around. Let's put that there. Go back into the entity browser. And let's put down a truck. Let's put a truck down there. And let's put down a... The Russians have their BTR-70, don't they? They have the armoured car. Let's put that down there. And then if we press the um, the options button with the top left shoulder button, bang, we're back in. And look at this. We can now get in and generally um, have fun driving around um, and uh, have it, having a good time and just testing things out. Sometimes it can be a bit bugged. Like this vehicle is bugged at the moment. It doesn't want to move, does it? Let's um, come out and jump into the truck. There we go, the truck's okay. So I bet if I got back into the BTR, that would, that would work as well. 
So you can play around with all the vehicles, get familiar with them, drive them around, you know, have, have a bit of fun like that. Um, but there's other things we can do as well. So if we go in, press pause, go back into the Games Master, and go into the uh, uh, Entity Placer thing, the button with the two little boxes on, and let us put down, let's go over to the right side, it's undo vehicles, let's put down System. All right, and then over here, let's put down a Arsenal box. So let's put down an Arsenal box over here. And now let's go back and play as the character. Bum, 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 bum. And then let's open this up. Now, uh, on the left hand side uh, in the inventory, you can see this is everything that's in the Arsenal box. So we could, you know, we could um, select it. We could go, I tell you what, let's put a. Um, Let's put a backpack on, and then let's grab a, a, a rocket launcher, and maybe we could grab a saw. Um, let's get some ammo for the saw. Uh, sorry, we don't want this, that, that's the ammo, isn't it, there for the saw? I think it's that one. And then we can play around with a rocket launcher. Or we could then drop this. And we could add that to the quick slot. Is that added, added it to my quick slot? Let's have a look. Hasn't has it. They do need they do need to do a bit of work on this um uh inventory system. Right, there we go. So that's now added to the quick slot. So now I could select that. And now, you can have a go with the machine gun. So you can have a, you know, you can get all the weapons out. You could play as the, you know, different types of characters and you can have lots of fun, you know, shooting things and doing stuff like that. But we don't have to stop there. <laughs> Let us spawn in some uh well we could spawn in some enemies if we like to as well so let's press pause let's go back to the games master and what we're going to do is down here let us go over to the right hand side let's get rid of systems let's put in a group and let's put in a what should we put in um a light infantry team. Now I'm probably going to get <laughs> killed here, but let's put a light infantry team here. Okay, so now I can play as a character. Let's hide from them first. <laughs> and there we can. They've started shooting at me already. Remember the AI is pretty dumb in uh, Armour of Forger. And then, oh hello, that BTR's on fire. <laughs> That's where I hit it with a rocket launcher earlier. I don't think we should. Uh, don't think we should stay too close to that. So let's press pause again. Let's go back into the games master. Let's place uh, some entities. Let's have a look at. If we come down here, let's look. Let's turn groups off. Let's go into compositions. So what you could do is you could create yourself a little scenario if you wanted as well. So here we go. So here's a field hospital. So let's put down field hospital over here and then if you imagine what you could do is you could then spawn in some um some enemies at the field hospital and your job could then be to to shoot them and take them out or you can even do things like spawn in in fact let's do it let's do it now because this is quite fun let's turn off compositions let's spawn in a group so you could spawn in a machine gun team say here and then we could spawn in an enemy uh, light infantry team here. And then what should happen is these guys will start shooting at each other. And start having a little battle. There we go. <laughs> oh, oh, they're not doing very well. As you would expect, a machine gun team. Whoa, hey, ease up, fella. Why am I getting shot? But you, you can die and you kind of just uh, spawn in again. Is he shooting at me? Oh, he's hold oh no, there we go, he's done. So my buddies. Well done. Well done, fellas. And the uh, remember the AI can't um 
drive vehicles or do anything posh yet but who, who knows by the time you come to play this video you may well you know they may well be um, i tell you what, i need to um put bandage on don't i let's make sure my character doesn't die there we go so he's better now before we go let me just show you uh, the, an easy way to move your character around the map as well so if we go into the games master and then we we can zoom around <laughs> they're inspecting the dead <laughs> ai great and then you can move the AI, ai around and get them to do different things but say i wanted to put my character over here it doesn't actually show you on the screen the quick menu but if you press and hold x you get the qu quick menu up and if you press down you can teleport your player to there another cool thing you've got you've got the lightning you can bring in um, we can put the camera there we can ping okay so but really for for, for multi for, sorry for solo single player purposes where you're creating your own um, playground if you like to tr play with armor um, being able to teleport the character somewhere is pretty good so again so you know we could have a tell you what, let's let's put a friendly recon team with my guy um, and then let's um, Put down the vehicle. Unfortunately, you can't ask your guy, your AI to, or the AI, the friendly AI to like get in a vehicle with you either, either, either yet. You know, but fingers crossed, as we, um, as the game progresses, you'll start to get the full. Um, that's what we got down there. You'll start. To, we'll start to get the the full armor three. Um, implementation of AI which means that these guys here these friendly AI you'll be able to associate them with yourself so they'll follow you around you'll be able to give them direct orders in the games master you know or in, in a scenario that you've created and you'll be able to tell them to get into vehicles um, when we get helicopters fly helicopters all that sort of stuff trust me when I say all this stuff is coming the, the big thing about Armoury Forger for Bohemian Interactive the publisher and developer behind this was to simply get this running you know, because this is a complete engine change for armor. And sometimes we can be a little bit glib about that, I think, um, and go, well, you know, why don't they just go to Unreal Engine 5 or something something like that or stick with what they had? Well, the engine they had, um, Real Virtuality, I think it was called, you know, was good for what it was, but it, the performance, there was, you couldn't get the performance they wanted out of it um, and not, and they couldn't get the look out of it as well. Um, and Armour uh, does so many unique things as, as a game with these absolutely huge maps and all this interaction you can have. And remember as well, the really cool thing about having Daisy and Armour on a similar engine, you know, different versions of the, of the same engine, is that it will be much easier to bring aspects of either game across to either game as well. So I don't think it will be long before you start seeing survival mods um, in Armoury Forger. I remember you've got the other fact that the, the workshop for Armoury Forger is is cross-platform. So PC mods will work on, on console and vice versa. And we'll also see all the uh, improvements that uh, Armoury Forger has made to things like vehicles and weapons. We'll see that happening in DayZ as well. It is so, so exciting. And I know Armoury Forger is a little bit rough at the moment and it you know, has got a lot of work to do but it is an early access release you are in fact becoming part of bohemia actives quality control team you're becoming a games tester by buying and playing this game and just think what it's going to be like when we have armor 4 in a few years when we have an armor game on on uh, console it's going to be absolutely absolutely amazing. I, I cannot wait and um you know you know i've really been enjoying playing around with armor reforger and can't just can't wait to see what the devs come up with next but i guess more importantly i can't wait to see um what the uh what the modders uh, come up with next hello buddies how you doing oh hey woo. where did you me for oh the see i've put independence down i didn't put friendlies there you go lesson learned <laughs> okay so hopefully you found this video useful hopefully you'll explore the games master editor you'll play around with the scenarios you get to know uh, armor of forger better and you'll have a good time i'll do a separate video when it comes to creating game uh, live game scenarios with other players as well um, i'll do another video about that at another time but if you've got any questions put them in the boxes down below if you enjoyed the video hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again
soon.